Hi, I'm Alan Irwin from Santa Barbara Infrared. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the second of our geometric tests, distortion. So what does distortion measure? Well, distortion is a measure of how well the unit under test reproduces the relative shape, proportions, and position of all the elements in a scene, as seen by that device being tested. There are different sources that will cause distortion in a sensor system. There could be optical effects, and typically those show themselves as what's referred to as barrel distortion, or it could be pincushion distortion. If it's an electronic distortion, we will see skew across the image. Or if it's an astigmatism, it'll be one localized area where we don't reproduce the image well at all. How do we go about performing the test? We typically present to the camera an array of pinholes. These positions and the size of the pinholes are very well defined. We can measure them as they're being manufactured to know exactly where they are. So then we can anticipate where they should appear in the UUT. We can geometrically project them so that we have an expectation of where each pinhole will appear. We go about measuring this test using our standard boresight measurement for um, a centroid of every one of those pinholes. And we compare the position that we've measured to where we expect it to be. And that offset is the error that we're going to refer to. The error can be divided by the overall field of view to get a percentage. But what we're going to do with those measurements at every pinhole is create a distortion map, where at every point in that grid array, we're going to list what the distortion is. And that gives us our most complete information about the quality of that lens so we can see things like astigmatism in there. However, it isn't intuitively obvious immediately. Sometimes you have to look and study at a distortion map. So instead, we can map out the amount of error based on its relative position from the center, the radial distance from the center. And by doing that, if we look at all the pixels and what their error is and how far away from they are from the center, we can do this distortion graph plot, which is, again, plotting error based on radial distance. And that will reveal certain sources of distortion, things like barrel and pin cushion, very quickly and easily just by looking at that image. So how do we perform it? Well, first we need some thermal source distributed over an area. So typically it's a wide area black body. We will need a target that has those pinhole uh, grid so that we can present that to the unit under test and so we know precisely where the physical positions are of the pinholes on that target. And then we use a target projection system to present that to the UUT and we can then well characterize where every pinhole is angularly and where it should appear in the UUT's field of view. We can also put the UUT on a motion control system, and that could be used just for aligning the system to the optical axis of the collimator. But more importantly, if we have some cameras that are too wide to project a pinhole array, we can instead project a single pinhole, and by using a motion control system, move the camera in a known angular arc so that we can project that pinhole at different positions in the UUT, effectively reproducing that pinhole array across the UUT's field of view, even if it's a very wide field of view. Once we've done that projection, we take all the calculations, we do all the same work, we know where the pinhole should appear, and we are then measuring where it actually appears and taking the error from that. Again, even whether it's a, a, a single pinhole array target, or whether you're taking a single pinhole and projecting on different positions in the field of view, we are calculating that offset and the error from that uh, position to determine our distortion grid and then our distortion graph. So how do we use this? Well, we typically use this to characterize a camera and determine if there are any failures. It's not normally used for calibration. It can be. You can take that display and do post-processing to correct an image, but it's not typically used for that. And it's rarely used when comparing one camera to another uh, in another model run. It could be used to determine the quality of the camera, but it's rarely done. So generally distortion is used to determine the quality of a single camera and to make any corrections, especially if it's showing that there's barrel or pincushion, it may need a correction to the lens uh, or whatever is causing the distortion in the camera. And that is distortion and how it's applied.